Hey creators, today I'm walking you through the brand new Fortnite tools mode in UEFN. These tools were originally made for Epic's own internal development team. Now they're available to us and they're designed to make building faster and easier. This is a beginner friendly breakdown of what each tool does, how to use it and why it matters. Let's get started. First, we're going to cover how to enable Fortnite tools mode. First, after you load up UEFN and turn it on, you just go into the selection mode drop down and you will see Fortnite tools. You can also press shift six as a hotkey to open up as well. When it's active, a new panel will appear on the left side of your screen. Let's start with the 3D select tool. This tool lets you select multiple objects at once using a bounding box. It's great for making large scale edits fast. Now, if you've dealt with big prefabs or you know a, a larger scale builds, you'll know it's kind of hard to select all of these pieces, especially you'd have to go in your outliner and kind of click each one inside of your you know buildings you've created. They might have a bunch of little props and things here. That's it's just kind of really hard to select all of them fast. So this new 3D select tool helps with all of that. It's very cool, very easy to work with. So go into Fortnite tools, click your 3D select. And then I recommend kind of click on the outside of the area you're trying to capture. So hold shift after you've clicked and I kind of just clicked on the left, right side. You'll see the bound box kind of start forming. See right now it's kind of a full square and then I'm going to actually click this top. And right now it actually says we only have four assets um, selected. But what you're going to want to do actually is you're going to want to hold X, use your scroll wheel to zoom out and now you'll see it just went from four to 270 pieces collected so it just selected that whole box which is very cool you can also press v to kind of see and make sure double check that it actually did select everything in there it changes kind of your objects uh, visibility you can toggle v again um, and see everything so now that i have everything selected what i'm going to want to do is press complete and now you'll see i can actually move this whole asset, everything is selected. Now you kind of see how it's kind of all wonky. It doesn't like kind of fit together. Um, that's because it's in the prefab folder from the content drawer. I just threw it in there. If you actually um, take all the pieces and move it into a new folder out of the original one, it'll be a lot smoother, but I'm actually going to show you in a minute using the snap to target tool, how to kind of bypass all that anyway. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. A few more things I want to show you with this tool. Some of the other things you can do while you have all this selected, you can kind of um, manually select the visibility over here if you want, or just use V hotkey. You can show volume mesh. You can change how thick the volume lines are. You can change its color, things like that. I know this is just the start of this tool. I'm sure this thing's going to get even better, but this is such a nice ad. Next is the snap to target tool, which helps you align props and buildings perfectly. Let me show you how it works. Make sure you have snap to target selected. Select the prop. You want to snap and then you can just hold X and you'll see it kind of like guides you and helps you snap perfectly. You can just let go of X again and it'll drop it. If you hold X and you left click, it'll place it. You can place multiples. You can even while you're holding down X, um, you can use your scroll wheel to kind of turn the prop, make sure nothing looks kind of uniform. It's a really, really powerful tool. You can also, another thing you can do while you have this selected, you can hold C and use your scroll wheel to move props up and down. It's really easy to use, really awesome. I'm gonna show you some more things about it. On the left, you can actually manually duplicate select instead of holding X and left click. You also have some options to how fast you wanna rotate where you want the selection snap access. So if you want it to top, bottom, side, I keep it on the bottom for now. If I was put this on the top, some of these props will spawn underground. Um, very useful for certain instances. You can also use snap each object to ground, which will automatically make sure the uh, prop goes to the floor. But I do want to say this, if you're snapping like if you're grabbing all of these, this whole building, for instance, and you have that selected roof pieces and stuff might snap to the floor. So if you see that happening, make sure you have that um, not selected. Now, like I mentioned before, if you're kind of moving a whole prefab, sometimes a whole building that kind of can get wonky. If you keep the whole building selected and go to snap to target and you hold X, you'll see now when I move this, 
it's kind of seamlessly it works perfect what's also cool is you can kind of rotate the building and move it up or down or left to right and now you can place kind of like multiple buildings very cool very quick makes our workflow just so much faster this snap to target tool was a great ad so this one's simple but useful it's called the helper assistant tool it lets you drop in reference assets to help you check things like player scale using a mannequin and lighting and material balance using a color calibrator this is how you use it it's pretty simple click the helper asset here on the left and there's not many options here but you can place either the player height reference or the color calibrator. So whatever you have selected here, you just click in here. You can click as many times as you want and you will see them in your island. The other one is the player height reference. You can quickly throw in a mannequin. I mean, you can put probably hundreds of them if you want really fast and you can kind of match it up with your level, see how things look. Before we had to go into the content drawer, find the mannequin and place it, all those things. You had to remember to delete it later. What's actually really cool about all of this is if you leave your UEFN instance, if you close it down, come back, this won't be saved. It'll be removed. You can also remove it by just removing all place actors here and they are gone. Very cool tool. So finally, we have travel time tool. This thing is bonkers. It's so cool. Basically, this just measures how long it takes a player to travel between points on your island. It's perfect for like pacing, flow or pathfinding. Let me just show you how to use it. Make sure you have travel time selected. I'll go over some of these settings in a minute, but just I have kind of like a, a makeshift little death run I have set up here. I want to know how long it takes from start to finish. So I'm going to actually just click right here and I'm just going to follow this path. You'll see kind of that line. We're going to go up to here, go up to here. And we're going to finish right here. Now, if we go up here on the left, it says it takes around 34 seconds. Um, if someone was running the whole time, it would take 34 seconds to complete this. How sweet was that? It took me like seconds to make. Now on the left, you can do all sorts of things. You can hold C and click left on a segment. You can kind of divide this up inside of there. You can delete segments if you want. I'll let you do that on your own time. You can re-add a new segment. But what's really cool is you can actually like change how like for instance if they were walking see now it changed it to 95 seconds if someone's to walk this whole course i think the slowest one is ads crouch backwards it takes over two minutes now um just super cool you can also customize the speed and multiplier all that yourself you can actually select if you want it to um follow the landscape or if you just want it to follow all surfaces i keep that off you can change the text size, how big it is, the text color. You can use straight lines. So it kind of just makes everything straight. I actually like that. It's pre pretty helpful. And you can change the segment colors of the lines, things like that. This tool is super, super powerful. Um, once you're done with that, you can actually come uh, press complete and it'll save it. And then you can actually even do a new one. So you can go to click travel time and then you can make a whole new segment you wanted it's very cool very easy to use right right outside the box um, you can clear the other spine you can clear the current one it's very cool what's what's also neat about this is if just like helper assistant if you have the travel time in your game you close it down you come back it won't be there so you don't have to worry about deleting this or anything like that it's just super cool super intuitive that was the full walkthrough of the Fortnite tools mode in UEFN. From bulk selecting and snapping to measuring players' traversals, these tools were built to help you move faster and build smarter. Let me know in the comments if you want to deep dive into any advanced workflows here. And do not forget, please, to like the video, follow, subscribe. Really appreciate it. And as always, don't hate, create.